Hey guys, welcome back to another How To 100% Survey Scan. In this episode, we'll be exploring the planet Gagarin, which is located in the Alpha Centauri system. Join me as we explore the three different biomes of Gagarin, which are the rocky desert, swamp, and wetlands as we discover each fauna, flora, resources, and the unique trait. If this has piqued your interest, then let's get into it. Number one on the list for fauna is the flocking shardhopper geophage. The shardhoppers are interesting creatures and hop great distances. They can be found in the rocky desert, swamp, and wetland locations. They are known to travel in groups and will only attack if threatened. The second fauna is another geophage known as the flocking coral crawler. Like the shardhoppers, the coral crawlers can be found in all three biomes of Gagarin. Crawlers are known to attack if they feel threatened. Third on the list is the Trilobite Scavenger. The Trilobites are harmless fauna and are found roaming carefree. They also are found in swamps, wetlands, and the desert. Number four is the Apex Dust Devil Exorunner. The Dust Devils are located in all biomes of the planet. They are defensive in nature and will attack if threatened. Number five is the Herding Coral Bucket Filterer. The coral buckets kind of look like a ground level jellyfish with the way that it floats across the ground. They are known to be territorial and will only attack if threatened. Most times you'll find them floating in the air, but you may find some near the ground surface. The next fauna is the pack prong winged sea bat. The sea bats are found in all three biomes of Gagarin and are known to travel in groups. Sea bats normally attack other fauna in the area, however, if provoked, they will attack you. Number seven is the sunfish filter. The sunfish are found in the ocean and swamp areas of Gagarin. Sunfish are skittish and typically won't attack you. Last but not least is the pack of sea hag. Unlike the sunfish, sea hags are aggressive and will attack you if you are nearby. Moving forward to flora, up first is the velvet bloom. The velvet bloom looks similar to a tree but not as tall and will have a reddish pink leaves hanging off the ends. The blooms are found in the wetlands and swamp locations. Second is the sweet water cactus. The cactus are found throughout the swamp and rocky desert biomes. Cactus may come by themselves or in small groups of two to three, so searching this will take a bit of time. The third flora is the swamp ball root. The ball root is found in all areas of the planet. These aren't hard to find, but you may overlook them if you aren't paying attention. Scanning won't take long as they usually are found in multitudes. The fourth on the list is the burnt poke leaf. The poke leaves are found in all locations and will stand out with its bluish tint and a fiber pod sitting on top that you can collect. These also come in multitudes. The final flora is the bitter golden glow. The golden glows can be found in multiples and it will stand out with its golden coloring. Depending on its location, it may blend in. We now move into the resources of the planet, starting off with chlorine. Chlorine, like in many other locations, is found as a protruding rock from the ground, which emits a toxic gas. Chlorine has a greenish texture to it, so hopefully it will stick out among its surroundings. The second resource you'll find is the chlorosilane seep. The seeps are found on the ground in all biomes. Using your scanner will help you identify the seeps faster. The next resource is lead. Lead is found pretty much everywhere you go. It can be found on a rock, but it will blend in the surroundings, so using your scanner will help you. You can also scan lead directly from the ground when you activate the scanner. The final resource is water. Water looks exactly how water looks everywhere else and can be easily spotted using the scanner. The lone unique trait of Gagarin is the coralline landmass. The coralline landmasses can be found at the life sign locations, and the landmass does require two scans in order to complete it. Remember, it takes 10 scans to complete the survey for fauna and flora. When surveying a planet with fauna found in the ocean, it can be frustrating searching the entire planet for long periods of time, not finding a body of water. As many of you probably know, it is a gamble on what direction to walk, but you can find it with the help of the ground surface map access from the scanner, then making your way to a flatter area of your grid. Linked in the description below or floating in the top right corner, you'll find a more in-depth video of where to find the ocean for the water fauna and some dangers you may come across. Once you have reached 100 survey scan, you'll be rewarded with a Gagarin survey data slate. Here's where you can make some money after your hard work. 
There are multiple places to sell the data slates, but one of the easier locations you'll soon come across is Vladimir at the Eye, which is a station floating over Jemison. From my research, Vladimir typically gives you the best price compared to the other vendors. When you first speak to Vladimir, select a dialogue to discuss his artifact search being a full-time job. This will lead you to let him know you can get him survey data. If you already have a data slate ready to turn in, the third dialogue option is to tell him you have survey data. This will open up the vendor where you can then sell the survey data you have collected. If you don't already have one, begin scanning the planets, then come back to make some extra credits. And there you have it, everything you'll find on Gagarin to scan. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed watching, please take a minute to give it a like, leave a comment, and become a follower or subscriber to see more videos like this. I hope you have a wonderful time exploring Starfield as much as I do, and I'll see you next time. Take care.